Hi there, I'm Sumit Bansal and in today's video, I'm going to show you some amazing Power Query keyboard shortcuts. So if you use Power Query a lot in your day to day work and there is a lot of clicking around, then in this video, you will find some shortcuts that you can use to replace that clicking and save some time. So let's get started. So let's start with a simple one. If you want to open the Power Query editor, usually the way to do this is to go to the data tab and here in the get data dropdown, you have this option launch Power Query editor. And when you open this, it is going to just open the Power Query editor. And if there are any queries, those would be visible. You can use the keyboard shortcut Alt F12 to do this. So hold the Alt key, then press the F12 key, and that is going to open the Power Query editor. Now, I do not have any queries as of now, but if there are any queries, those would be visible in this pane, in the navigation pane on the left. Now, if you already have an Excel table and you want to open this table in the Power Query editor, the way to do this is to go to the data tab and then click on this from table range icon. Or you can right click on any of these cells and then click on get data from table range. Now, while this is convenient enough, Another way to do this is by adding this icon to open data from an Excel table into Power Query Editor to your quick access toolbar. So to do that, I'm going to go to the data tab and here I would hover my cursor over from table range option and then right click and then click on add to quick access toolbar. See what happens here in the quick access toolbar when I click on it, an icon appears in the quick access toolbar and if you hover over it, it says from table range. So now whenever you have a table, you do not need to go to the data tab and then click on this option. You can simply come here and click on this icon. And when you do that, it is going to open that table in Power Query Editor. Now, another important thing you can do with the quick access toolbar is add the option to open a blank query. So as you start working with Power Query and you become a little more advanced, you would notice that you're working with blank queries a lot. So if you have to open a blank query as of now, I would have to go to the data tab, then go to get data, then here go to from other sources and then go to blank query. Now, these are a lot of clicks, but what you can do is right click on the blank query option and then click on add to quick access toolbar. And when you do that, it is going to add this icon here and when I click on this one it is going to open the a blank query with the name the query is already inserted and I have the cursor in the formula bar. Now adding it into the quick access toolbar and clicking it is uh, convenient enough but another thing you can do is use a keyboard shortcut. So now when I press the alt key see what happens here in the quick access toolbar numbers would appear next to these icons. So when I click on alt when I press alt icon you'll see that these numbers appear. And here I have a number next to from table range and a number next to the icon for blank query. So now you do not even need to have a click mouse click. You can just use Alt 8. So hold the Alt key, press the 8 key, and then it opens a blank query because then this number eight now corresponds to this icon here that can open a blank query. If I want to open this table in Power Query, instead of coming here and clicking on this icon, I can just use Alt 7. So press the Alt key and then the seven key, and then it opens this data in the Power Query editor. So when you start working with Power Query a lot, this is going to save you a lot of time. If you're working with a data set that has a lot of columns, then selecting a specific column may be a bit difficult because you have to then use the scroll bar to go to that column and then select it. So you can use this keyboard shortcut in that case, hold the control key and press the G key. And when you do that, it is going to open the go to column dialog box. Now here you can select the column where you want to go, let's say the region column here. And now when I click OK, it is going to select the entire column, the region column and bring the focus to that column. Now, one drawback in this case is that you can only select one column. So if I try and hold the control key to select multiple columns or use the shift key and then click on selecting multiple columns, it will not work. You can only select one column at a time. Power Query has this option to add column by example. So if I go to the add column tab here, you'll see I have this option to add column from examples. And when I click on this, it inserts this column, column one, and here I can, it's like flash fill. So I can enter anything and it is, it'll try and identify the pattern and give me the result. For example, in this case, I have these customer names. If I enter Alice here and hit enter, you can see it has extracted all the first names from the customer name and it has automatically inserted the formula. 
Now, if you want to insert this column, you do not need to go to the add column tab and do it. You can use the keyboard shortcut, control E. So hold the control key and press the E key. And that is going to insert this new column, which is the add column from examples. And then you can just type what you want and it is going to extract and give you the result and also insert the formula. Interestingly, this is also the keyboard shortcut for flash fill in Excel and add column from examples is just like flash fill. So if you know flash fill and the shortcut is control E, you can use the same one here. Not many people know this, but within Power Query, you can zoom in and zoom out. So for example, in this case, the text looks very small. If I want to zoom in and make the text bigger, I can use the keyboard shortcut, control shift, so hold both the control and the shift key, and then press the plus key. And when I do that, it is going to increase the font and zoom into the window. And if you want to zoom out, then you can use the minus key, so hold the control, and the shift key and then press the minus key. If you want to restore the zoom level, so go back to the original one, hold the control key and press zero. So it is going to fix the zoom level and this is now 100% zoom level. Now this also works in the advanced editor. So if I go to the view tab and then click on advanced editor, which has all the code. And if you are an advanced Power Query user and you write your own M code in the advanced editor, you can use the keyboard shortcut here as well. So hold the control and the shift key, press the plus key and you can see the text becomes bigger. So now it is easier for me to write these codes or if I'm presenting somewhere, then it is easier to go through it. And again, if you want to go back, then you can hold the control and the shift key and then press the minus key. If you want to delete one or more columns in the Power Query Editor, you can simply select the column and then hit the delete key and it is going to remove it and add this step called removed columns. So you can obviously right click on the column and then click on remove, but you can also use the delete key. You can also delete steps by using the delete key. So in this case, let's say I want to delete this remove column steps so I can select it and then press the delete key. And when I do that, it is also going to remove it. So to delete these steps, to de delete queries, to delete columns, you can and simply use the delete key. In case you want to delete multiple columns, you can select multiple columns by holding the control key and or the shift key and then delete multiple columns in one go. If you want to select multiple columns in Power Query, you can do that just like you do it in Excel. So hold the control key and then click on the column header. And then to select multiple columns, just keep on clicking on the columns that you want to select. Now, when you hold the control key, you can select non adjacent columns. So in this case, I have this one, then I'm not selecting customer name, but I've selected order date and quantity. If you want to select all the columns that are together, you can use the shift key. So select uh, the first column. So click on the header name of the first column, then hold the shift key and then select the last one. And it is going to select all the columns in between. Now this is useful when you are reorganizing your data or you want to delete all the columns in one go. So you can select multiple columns and then delete them in one go by clicking on the, by hitting the delete key. If you want to select the entire current column, you can use the keyboard shortcut control space bar. So hold the control key and press the space bar key and it is going to select this entire column. Once you have done that, you can also use a keyboard shortcut alt down arrow key to open the menu for this column. So here column header has this filter icon. And when I click on this, you see I have these options. So if I'm somewhere down and I want to get those options for this column, you can first select this column by using control space bar and then alt down arrow key to open this. So instead of you using your mouse, you can do this faster with keyboard shortcut. If you want to select the entire table, you can use the keyboard shortcut control A. So hold the control key and press the A key and it is going to select the entire table. There are multiple places where you can use the F2 key in Power Query Editor. So here I have this column and let's say I want to change the name of this column. There are multiple ways to do this. I can double click on the header so it brings the cursor in the edit mode and I can rename it or I can right click and then go to rename option and again it brings it to the edit mode. But you can also use the keyboard shortcut F2 just like you do it in Excel. So select the column header then press F2. It brings the cursor in the edit mode and you can rename it. If you want to rename a query 
query, you can come here to the query name in the navigation pane and press F2 to edit the query name. You can also change the query name here in the properties field and you can also change the names of the steps. Now, in Power Query, it is a good idea to have your steps name where there is no space character in between because then it makes it easier for us to refer to these names in the formula bar. So if you want to change the name of a query step, just select that and then press F2 and then you can change it. For example, here I can call it change type instead of change space type. When you're working with a large data set, sometimes you may want to go to the beginning of the row or beginning of the data set. So here are a couple of keyboard shortcuts that would help. If you want to go to the beginning of the selected row, you can just press the home key and it is going to bring you to the beginning of that row, the first cell in that row, the leftmost cell. If you want to go to the end of the row, you can use the end key. So it is going to bring you to the last cell in the row. If you want to go to the first cell in the column, you can hold the control key and use page up. So it is going to bring you to the first cell in that column. And if you want to go to the last cell in that column, hold the control key and use page down. And if you want to go to the beginning of the data set, which is the top leftmost cell in the data set, hold the control key and use the home key. And it is going to bring you to the first, very first cell in the data set. And if you want to go to the last one, hold the control key and then use the end key. So for a row, you can use home and end for the beginning of the row and the end of the row. For a column, you can use control page up and page down. And for the entire data set, you can use control home and control end. In your data set in Power Query, you would notice that there is this table icon at the top left. And when you click on it, it will show you some table level options. Now, if you want to open this using a keyboard shortcut, you can come here manually to this part by using the arrow keys or use the keyboard shortcut Control Home to go to the first cell in your data set, then press left arrow key and then up arrow key. So you'll see that the table icon is now selected and then use the space bar key to get the entire menu. Here's a smart Power Query trick that not many people know. When you are reordering your columns in Power Query, you do not have to do them one by one. You can do that in one go. Let's say, for example, I want the product category, then I want the quantity, and then I want the customer name in the same order. So I do not need to do it two or three times. I can do it in one go. And to do that, I'm going to first select product category, then hold the control key, then select quantity, which is the second column that I want, and then select customer name, which is the third column that I want. Now, Power Query in the back end is going to remember my selection. It knows that I selected this column, then this column, and then this column. So now, if I want to bring all these columns together, I can just drag it. And now when I do that, you can see I have product category, then quantity, then customer name. So you do not need to do it two times or three times, or if you have many columns, then and you're selecting multiple columns, you do not need to do them one by one. You can do it in one single go. And when you do that, you will also see that it inserts this step called reordered columns, where you can see it has reordered the columns based on the selection. As you become more proficient in using Power Query, you would be spending more time in the advanced editor that gives you the code for the entire query. So to open the advanced editor, you can use the keyboard shortcut Alt W Q. So first press the Alt key, then the W key, and then the Q key. And when you do that, it opens the advanced editor. So you can make your changes, go through the code, and then close it. Now here is an interesting thing. When you press the Alt key, you would see these alphabets appear next to the tab names. And when I press any of these alphabets, it is going to show me all the options in these tabs, which means that while I've covered so many shortcuts in this video, there are so many more that you can yourself explore when you just use these keys. So for example, if I press W, it opens the view editor and you can see I have all these options for F for formula bar, it's a toggle, S for query settings, Q for advanced editor. So these are all the keyboard shortcuts that you can get right here in the tab of Power Query. But here's one more important thing. If there is one option that you use quite often, let's say if uh, go to column is something that you use quite often, or let's say if transpose is something that you use quite often, just go to that option, right click and then click on add to quick access toolbar. When you do that, it is going to add that option in the quick access toolbar and you can now use it just like we do it in Excel press the Alt key, you will see a number appears next to it and then you can just press that number. So if I just use Alt 3 here, it is going to transform my data. See what happens? 
Alt 3, sorry, Alt 3, it transforms my data. And you can add as many important icons you want here. For example, if uh, advanced editor is something you want here, you can right click and then add to quick access toolbar. And there are so many transform options that we use so often. You can just right click on any of these options and then use it with a keyboard shortcut with an Alt and number keyboard shortcut from the quick access toolbar of the Power Query editor. If you want to quickly close and load this query, then you can use the keyboard shortcut Alt F Enter. So first press the Alt key, then the F key, and then the Enter key. When I press Alt and then F, it opens this menu in the file tab. And then when I press Enter, it is going to use the close and load option. If you want to use any other option, then you can use the arrow keys to move to that option. In this case, if I just use Alt F enter it inserts a new worksheet and gives me the table of that query as a new worksheet but if you have already saved it as a connection then it would be saved in the connection if it is already in a data model it will go to the data model but this just closes and loads your query wherever whatever is the destination that you have already chosen and the final keyboard shortcut is to close power query if you want to do that you can use a generic keyboard shortcut which is alt F4, so hold the Alt key, press F4. When you do that, it is going to show you these options if you have made any changes. So you can choose whether you want to keep the changes, whether to discard the changes, or if you press cancel, then it is not going to exit Power Query Editor. So in this case, if I press Alt F4 and then click on discard, it is going to close Power Query and return back to Excel. So these were some useful Power Query shortcuts and I hope you found them useful. Start using them in your day-to-day -day work and you will feel a lot more comfortable with Power Query. Now, there is another set of keyboard shortcuts for the advanced editor that I'm going to cover in my next video. I hope you found this video useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel Tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.